Welcome back, lawn lovers. BW here again. Hey, this could be my last mow of the season. It's November 2nd today, and the 4-inch soil temperature is 40 degrees now. And that's the soil temperature where the grass stops growing leaves. So I shouldn't need to mow again this year. The roots will still grow until the soil temperature drops to 33 degrees, and the grass will store the sun's energy there to use next season. The lawn is nice and thick right now. The enhanced efficiency fertilizer I used from my early fall fertilizer really greened up the lawn without any extra top growth or need for extra mowing. People like me that mow short with real mowers really appreciate that. So what should my final height of cut be or how tall should I leave my grass for the winter? There's no set answer for that question because like most things in lawn care, it depends on where you live and the climate you have there. If you live in a cold area with lots of snow cover like I do, you may want to cut a little bit shorter for winter because it can help prevent some snow mold damage. If you live in a cold area without much snow cover, you may want to leave it the same height that you keep it during the summer to help fight against winter desiccation. And if you live in a warmer part of the country, I'm a little bit jealous of you. I'm cutting my front yard to one and a quarter inches, which is the same height I cut it in the summertime, because I don't think cutting it any shorter will help with the snow mold, and a little length may help with desiccation in case we don't get a lot of snow here this year. I have, however, lowered the height of cut on the rest of my lawn that I cut with a conventional rotary mower by about a half inch or so. Avoid anything more drastic because grass still needs enough leaf blade to gather sunlight to harden off for the winter. We had a windstorm the previous two days and it blew most of the leaves off the lawn and up against my house and fences. That's kind of nice because they're all rounded up and easier for me to dispose of. The wind blew right up the road and pushed the leaves from the entire block into my yard and against my fences. And although there are just a few large leaves left on the grass, there are also a ton of small leaf pieces that blew into the grass. You can see the mower kicking up a lot of those. I haven't decided yet if I want to blow them out or just let them be. I think they may contribute to the possibility of snow mold, so I'll probably try to blow them out when I do my next leaf cleanup. My neighbor's trees to the left of me here have hardly even started to drop their leaves yet. As long as the snow falls off, I'll have plenty of time to do more leaf cleanups. Now that the grass has stopped growing, this would be the time for me to apply a late fall winterizing fertilizer. But I'm not going to do that this year because it may also be a contributing factor for snow mold development. However, I am planning to experiment with some fertilizer on a part of my backyard to see if it really does cause more snow mold. The weather forecast here is calling for a few more days of warm weather, then back to cold again. I need to get that fertilizer down and watered in before it gets cold again. Well, here's how it looks after mowing. Not too bad, but all that leaf debris doesn't look very good. And the grass has already lost a lot of its dark green color because of that snowstorm we had. Hey, thanks for watching. Now hit that subscribe button and ring the bell right next to it. That way you won't miss the next video. And remember, you can do it.